Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I have an important message about your leaders in the Christian church. Your bishops, pastors, reverends, and ministers are all lying to you and leading you straight to damnation. The truth is, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Jesus Christ is a black man with white wool hair, according to Revelation chapter 1, verses 14 and 15. We as the Israelites must keep the commandments in the faith of Christ to receive salvation, as it is written in Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. I've challenged and debated Christian authorities all over the world on these issues. Not one of them has been able to negate this truth. Your pastors have led you astray, worshiping pagan holidays and false gods, just as in the days of old. So join us on our mission to restore the true nation of Israel before the decree goes forth. The work is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Visit our website at israelunite.org or call us at 855-484-4842 to learn more and visit our schools. Shalom. of something but you have to apply because knowledge means nothing if you don't apply right read this Hosea 4 and 1 this is what we must understand about application of God's laws the book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1 Bring it up. hear the word of the Lord ye children of Israel as you said Anthony you are children of Israel from the tribe of Judah correct read on for the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth. There is no truth amongst the children of Israel, right? So I ask you this: What is the truth? Is it just, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be honest, or is it something specific? Because in the Bible, it has things that are very specific. We read over things in the Bible, but we don't know what it's actually saying. Read. Okay, uh, you know, the, the truth. You, what is the truth, bro? Is it is the things that we that Officer Joseph went over with you? Is that stuff the truth? It is. Okay, read this. The Book of Psalms, chapter one nineteen and verse one forty two. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. See, the laws of God is the truth. So what we must understand is. Whenever he has a controversy against us, it's because we have no law. We're the only people who are to do as thou please. We're the only people that do chaos at mass numbers. It's not because we willingly want to do this. It's because how we've been fascists in America do this. We don't, that's not our actual nature. But watch what it is. Go back to Hosea. Read. Hosea chapter 4, starting at verse 2. Read. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Uh -huh. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, Three. nor mercy. No mercy. If, if somebody get their shoes stepped on, what happens to our in our community? And in, 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 with black people, what happens if I was to step on somebody's J's? We'll say it like that. They get mad, and what happens? They just mad, start fighting, the tussle, you might get shot, right? Okay, you standing in line, and it's a long line, somebody accidentally bump into you, what is it? It's always an issue with our people. It's because we don't even see Christ in each other. You was told how Jesus Christ looked per Revelation 1.14, right? So if that's the case, you seeing another man that looks like you, you should see what in him? Christ. So that means that you should be on a different path of thinking. You should be able to have the mercy and the truth inside of you in order to show that uh, Christ-like spirit. Finish that. Right 
nor knowledge of God in the land. Because there's no knowledge of God in this land at all. These people came like this. And then they said, John 3, 16, God loves everybody. Did they say that during that time? And during slavery? No, they didn't. They said what? Slaves obey your masters. But now in 2023, it's John 3, 16, and guess what? We Please all love. can be saved. Now, my question is, was John 3, 16 in the Bible during that time? Yes, it was. It was. It, it didn't change. The point, what I'm bringing out is, they changed their doctrine to fit the narrative to destroy the black man in America. Right. Destroy the black woman in America. The Israelites, God's chosen people. That's why our sisters now, they walk around now with straight hair. Because they envy their oppressor. Get Proverbs 3.31. But we must deal with the things that are in the sight of our eyes. Our sister's right here, she's, she has a wig on. Uh, it's a boy. Oh, that's even worse. He don't even know what his... He don't even know he's a god on this planet. Yeah. Read this. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. It says, envy thou not the oppressor. Who oppressed us? Christ, Christ oppressed us. Uh, check, check. Christ oppressed us? Who did? Okay, so right now, who sets up laws against you in order not to do things. Do we set up laws? So who's the oppressor? Because we don't have no power here, right? Okay, read it again. Envy thou not the oppressor. What does that mean? Envy thou not the oppressor. Envy thou not the oppressor. No, envy. It says don't in other words, don't desire the things what they do. Right. Because the things that they do are against you. That's why little boys now can walk around in a dress and call himself a girl with a wig on, like uh, Dwayne Wade's uh, son. That's, that's, not, that's not right. He's a boy. That's going against nature. That's not according to God at all. But they put themselves in a seat of power. Now they're telling you what's right. Now they tell you what the bearing of truth is, but they were the ones who did this to you. Why they didn't have that moral compass then? Because they don't have a moral compass. That's why John 3.16 comes to play. That's why Christianity is there to destroy you. That's why Thanksgiving, Christmas, and all their different holidays is what we go after when we don't even look into the Bible for our salvation, our, our, our deliverance from when we was in uh, slavery underneath the hand of the Egyptians or even from Greece and Rome. We don't look for those things, but that's what the Bible is telling you. Read it again. If be thou not the oppressor and choose none of his way. Now I'm gonna ask you a question. Hey, sister right here with the blonde hair. Are you choosing, you, you, yes, you. I got a question for you. What does this scripture mean to you? Read. If be thou not the oppressor and choose none of his way. It says, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. What does it mean to you? So I'll, I'll, I'll break it down. You have blonde hair in your hair. Yeah. Is that natural? Oh, no. So that means you're choosing the ways of your oppressor. Uh -huh. So you got to understand the things that are going on in our in ourselves. We have no. an identity crisis. That's what you will call self-hatred. That's what we should see Christ in each other. That's why we wouldn't put that in our head. That's why we'll wear our natural woolly hair in the afro. Or we'll wear it in our braids as our custom is and not theirs. That makes sense? That's why you see our brothers, they'll uh, take their hair and they'll blonde the tips. Why are they blonde in the tips? Who are they trying to look like? Blondes have more fun, right? Hey, can somebody... Uh, can somebody look, look up what, what blondes did in Rome or something like that? Give me that. Yep. Read this again. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. And be thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Now my question is, what are other ways that uh, we choose that are after oppressor? You got it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to read this, read this, read this. This is about 
Blondes have more fun. This is where that saying comes from. Read. In ancient Greece and Rome, blonde hair was frequently associated with prostitutes Read. who dyed their hair using saffron dye in order to attract customers. That's what happened. That's why they say blondes have more fun because in Greece and Rome, they were prostitutes. So when our sisters are doing that, that's what they're going after. They're taking on that spirit. Read. Read again. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Now my question, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. What are ways of the oppressor that we often choose willingly as a people? Like, think about it. You like sports? What sport? All oh, right. Give me that first life beat sport. I'm going to show you something. Did you know sports is in the Bible? Did you know it was the destruction of our race with sports? You didn't know that. But look, what happened was we went from leaving our law, statutes, and commandments and went after their customs. I'm going to show you what has happened. Read. 2 Maccabees chapter 4 and verse 15. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. See that? We didn't set by the honor of our fathers. Who are our fathers? The Israelites. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Noah, the 12 patriarchs, Job, Isaiah, Nehemiah. These are our forefathers. It says what? Not setting by the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. See, that's what happened. Our people like the glory of the Grecians best of all. That's why we like going after their sports. So, okay, cool. Is sports, is sports bad when it turns you away from doing what God says? Yes. Family.